Ooh, this looks like an impressive structure. I wonder if that's where the Emperor King hangs out. Um, no, he's hanging out by the docks, you know? Jesus. Fucking idiot. Mm, what, the sea isn't interesting? It's like, all well, purplish. And pink. That would be interesting. No? Oh well. That, I assume, is Koros, the capital city. I'd better head that, head that way. Yeah, well, sure. If you don't want to look around. So sad. Not one for th not one for th 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 <laughs> not one for sightseeing our Boris. Even though he gives impressively long statements about everything he sees when he first enters the screen, it's kind of contradictory. Along the front of the majestic capital city runs a promenade facing the sea. It is flanked by the impressive buildings and statues of the capital city Koros, carved from sele select select. Emeraldite marbles, uh-huh, shipped from all over the empire. Richly garbed local residents pass by over the seamless reflective stone pa paving. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Can I now look at shit? I want to look at shit. Because I'm inquisitive. He looks like he's waiting for someone. He also looks like a man of some wealth, judging by his clothes. Really? Oh, I can't even look at these. Oh. What a ridiculous robot. What on earth is it supposed to be? Oh, I'm not on earth, am I? You just noticed that, didn't you? Okay. What's in this? That's the impressive building I could see from the pier. Okay. Well, I guess we have two things we could look at. So let's talk to the two. What are the chances that this is this door shift guy? I bet the underwear I'm not wearing. I mean, wait. Hmm. Sure, let's go. Just call him on it. I don't suppose you know a guy called Doshev, do you? I might, and who are you be? Hmm. Boris, Boris, Fern. <laughs> oh. Nice. Reference to uh, Curse of Enchantia. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm called Boris. What's your name? I'm known as Doshev. Wow, that didn't take much. I think you and I had better talk. Are you sure? I mean, I could be Boris something else, you know. Okay, what about? Look, you're the one who's, who's to bring about the downfall of the Emperor King, apparently. The leaders of our rebellion seem to have listened to the healers and their strange prophecy. Whether it's true or not is not for me to say, but I have been instructed to help you as much as I can, which isn't a lot, my friend. Follow me and I can lead you through the streets to a place which may be of help to you. Come. <sighs> Whoa. The vast sloping rampant buttresses of the citadel rise up from this back street. Gun emplacements along the high battlements fire up into the sky at the attacking revolutionaries. Imperial, sec <laughs> Imperial security droids are posted around the perimeter of the Great Fortress, hovering at the foot of its huge walls. Everything's huge with you. It's not that high. Boris, behind that wall, the one guarded by those droids, is an entrance to ancient passages which run underneath the city. They were originally used by all the citizens of Koras, but were deemed off-limits by Nymaces shortly after his coronation, since he thought they gave too close a passage to his personal quarters. You know, I can't fault the man to be, you know, to, uh, like his privacy. You know, I'm like that myself. You know, that's really not saying he's evil. The other things, yeah, but that, no, not that, come on. Oh, well, of course, he's paranoid. So am I, probably. Uh, I think he's paranoid, personally. If you're wanting to get closer to him, that's the direction you should be thinking of heading in. That's all I can do for you now. I must be going. You should be able to find your own way here from now on. What, you showed me this thing and that's it? Well, I couldn't have done that myself. Thank you. So what, there's a passageway I have to get through. Wait. Maybe you can just ask them to let me through? Wait, there's no passage. Ah, well, fuck it. Let's talk to the ridiculous uh, looking droid. Yeah, well, let's be truthful. 
gosh, you're really ugly. Go on. Do I displease you? Any complaints can be lodged with the City Droids Commission. Well... What, wait, what? Because of your looks I can complain? Really? That's awesome. Oh, well... Ornamentally nice. That's probably... I'm guessing this is an answer, uh, a question I could only have when I clicked on this. What are you then? I am an ornamental droid. My purpose is to decorate the city. So, seriously, how did you know to, s to phrase it like that, Boris, without having asked that? A bug, perhaps? In your computer code? Well, whatever. Have I ever told you how incredibly ornamentally nice you are? Are you coming on to me? Oh, wait, no. Really? Do you think so? It's my duty to decorate the place. Awesome duty. And you're doing a quite marvelous job. I thank you again. I decorate, therefore I am. Uh, that's it? Well then, carry on looking nice. See ya. Hmm. So I guess I can't go there. Because there's people. Look at how small I am! Oh, they're the giants! That's just not right. <clears throat> Let's look at my inventory. So, I have the cloaking device. Can I use that? This is the cloaking device housing given to housing given to me by the McCallion. It has a space in the center for something. <sighs> Let me guess. It needs to be powered up. Yeah, actually, now I remember something about being needing to be powered up. What for do I need it? Oh well, what's down here? Whoa! Two monumental Sentinel Guard robots block the exit from the end of the promenade. They're clearly heavily armed. Energy lines trace over their armored ex exteriors, indicating readiness for forceful action. Really? Huh. Warning! Do not pass! Um... Why not? Why can't I pass? Oh, the music's picking up. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Uh-oh. Do not argue with the Sentinels. You just can't, okay? Uh... Besides, you don't have the appropriate clearance. Well, that's true. How do I get appropriate clearance? You cannot! Access is allowed only to High Council member members. Oh, wow. Now go away and leave us alone. Yeah, okay. Just gonna ogle you a little bit. And your guns. And that's a big gun. I wouldn't fancy being on the receiving end of that. Well, you're smarter than you look, actually. This slit in the Sentinel's head must be its eye. Hmm. The huge sentinel guards the passage beyond this point. It looks quite dangerous, really. Yeah, you're actually right. It does look dangerous. It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Well, of course, a little bit of the Xylons, you know, with the uh, sled. Sadly, there's no light. But this has a kind of Tron feeling to it. I don't know why, but it looks that way to me. It's really quite impressive, I have to say. Nice design. So, I'm guessing I have to go by there can't use the cloaking device because I'm guessing I need to power it. Um, yeah. Maybe I do need to go back there. No, wait, I can't go back there because when I go in the palace, I can't go back here. So, what the hell am I supposed to do with them? Well, actually, there's, <laughs> there's just one thing I can do. I can talk to this guy again. Oh, I have to compliment him again? That's a vain robot. I've ever told you how incredibly ornamentally nice you are. Really? Do you think so? It's my duty to decorate the place. Now see, if they had been thinking ahead, they would have said, you know, you already told me, told me that or something. Or, you know, uh, flattery, flattery will get you anywhere or something like that. Something. Oh, and look at that. 
We have an option with the Sentinels. Well, what am I going to take, huh? The Sentinels from the Square have an important message for you. <laughs> Do they now? Really? Strange. Why would they have a message for me? Apparently it's very important. I suppose I'd better go and find out what they want. Boris, you bastard. You're going to get that poor droid killed. Warning. Do not pass. Okay. You have a message for me, do you not? No, leave this place immediately, ornamental droid, or suffer the consequences. 